Are you sad because your life is full of devices that you love, yet you have nothing to charge them except boring chargers that aren't robots? Look at that charger. It's, a, it's not a robot at all. It, it's just a black square. Well, I have a little something that might make you happy. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. <laughs> Look at that silly dog. He can't get the snack. <laughs> Are you happy now? No? Oh, well... I guess I have no choice but to give you a robot charger then. Haha, <laughs> tricked you, didn't I? No? Oh. Hello, hi there. I'm TechTweeb, welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video today. Yeah, uh, today we're gonna check out this pile of stuff. A bunch of chargers and cables. A uh, power block, a hub, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, Ugreen, the company that sent this pile of stuff to me, uh, they're sponsoring this video. This this whole video is about these Ugreen chargers and cables and stuff. Uh, they sent me some information before I got this stuff. Literally, the only thing that I remember is that it looks like a robot. I, I probably should have done more research about what's in here because they're sponsoring the video, but uh, <laughs> whatever. Hopefully, they'll be happy just to have me show you the stuff. I hope it's cool stuff. That would be good if I actually liked the stuff. I, I do like robots, so it's got a leg up there. Anyways, uh, let's uh, let's open this stuff and uh, see be we be what we got here, shall we? I guess we'll start with this one. The Ugreen Nexode RG65 watt charger. And look, it actually has a face on it. Like the robot has a face that changes when it's like charging and charging completed stuff. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, this is a GAN charger, which stands for something. What does that actually stand for? Some chemical or something, I think. I forget. Hey, God. Oh, okay. It stands for gallium ni nitride. So uh, this has a. Ga it's more efficient, is why they use it. So older chargers are have uh, are silicon based, but the gallium nitride ones are better. They're like better for charging things quickly. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's open this bad boy up, shall we? Should I should I open the ball while I got the, my my knife out? Let's do that. All right, so this is their 65 watt Nexode RG charger, the what Ugreen's first robot GAN fast charger. Oh wow! <laughs> oh look at that. Uh, is there anything else in the box? Uh, just some uh, word papers. All right, let's look at the word papers. Oh yeah, yeah. There's some words on those papers. Oh, there's pictures on these word papers. That's good. So uh, we have the kissy face, which means that it's connected to the power supply. And then the closed eye face, it's like waiting. And then the squinchy eyed kissy face means that it's charging. And then the squinchy eyes with no kissy mouth means that it's fully charged. All right, then. There we go. Quick like a band-aid. Uh, okay, so uh, I mean, it's a robot. Looks like a little robot. So it's got that going for it. We got uh, you, uh, two USB-C holes and one USB-A hole. And uh, these feet, I guess these, oh yeah, there they go. I'm excited to see what the face looks like on there, but uh, we're not ready for that yet. So let's open the rest of these chargers and, uh, and see what they're like. Let's save that one because that one's kind of special, I think. Uh, so this one's the Ugreen Nexode RG 30 watt charger. Yeah, this one's also a GAN charger. I, I like my chargers to be gallium nitride. I only just learned what it is, but now that I know what it is, I want all my chargers to, to be that. Oh, it's smaller. <laughs> it's like a little baby one. So this one's just a little 30 watt charger and it's just got one USB-C hole. When you, you take the feet off, it's just like a regular charger, right? But with the feet on, it's like a little buddy that could hang out on your desk. All right, we got 65 watts and 30 watts, and this one's another 30 watt, but this one comes in uh, pink, I guess, or purple. Okay, I could get behind that. <laughs> oh, it has a bow. It has a bow. So precious. <laughs> I thought I thought I would hate it, but I kind of love it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just a charger, right? I mean, these things they don't they don't do anything super special. I just like I like having things around that are are fun, fun to look at. Uh, this one has like a pink screen, so that'll be curious to see what they did with the uh, with the the screen on it when we plug it in. 
Okay, so we got the whole family. We got the, the daddy charger and the mommy charger and the little boy charger. Next up, the Ugreen 65 watt DigiNest Cube. Make charging an art. Uh, Ugreen, thank you for uh, sponsoring the video, but you're, you're trying a little bit too hard. It's a charger, come on now. Uh, yeah, so it's a 65 watt DigiNest Cube. And the ratings is something uh, max voltage uh, specifications on there. Uh, here's a tip. If you're gonna cut, always cut towards your hand because that's how you have the most control. See? See how I stopped just a millimeter away from my finger with this sharp knife? Oh, that's a big boy. It's like a power bar, right? Oh, let's look at our word papers first. What is this? What on earth is it here? Oh, it's like a little uh, sticky pad. Oh yeah, so like if you stick it to your desk or whatever, maybe it'll tell us in these word papers what you're supposed to do with that. Nope, no, nothing about the sticky pad. Uh, it is, it is what I expected. It is a, a cube and you can plug things into it. Not much more to say about that, I guess. What is this? The Ugreen USB-C multifunction adapter, 4K 60 Hertz. Yeah, I actually, uh, I have one of these already, but I use it all the time. They're super handy. Uh, you could use this with like, you know, like your phone, if you want to plug in your phone and use it in a docked mode. Or you could actually use this with even like the Steam Deck. You could uh, you could plug this in and you could have the USB ports and an SD card reader and uh, 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 HDMI out. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll try that on the Steam Deck uh, after we uh, after we unbox this stuff. That would be a good test, actually. Yeah, we got our word papers, of course. You know, I actually buy lots of Ugreen stuff. I, uh, I I have like five or six of their cables. I always buy them because they're like the cheapest on Amazon. Actually, the uh, the camera that I'm filming this with right now, I have a HDMI dongle, like a mini HDMI to full size HDMI dongle, and that's it's Ugreen. It says it right on the thing that I can see it as I'm filming this. Kind of nice that they're uh, they're sending me all this stuff and uh, sponsoring the video, uh, considering I've been a, a long time customer. <laughs> So we have uh, two USB-A holes and a SD card hole and a micro SD card hole and an ethernet hole and a USB-C hole and a HDMI hole. So yeah, this would be a great dock for like a, a Steam Deck or a laptop or even like a, you know, Nintendo Switch. That should, uh, that should work with this, I think. And then uh, over here, uh, USB-C to Lightning, which is uh, for Apple Macintosh phones. Uh, but I don't have an Apple Macintosh phone, so uh, I won't be able to use this, but my mom has an Apple Macintosh phone and she'll be able to use that. So maybe I'll wrap this up and I'll give it to her for Mother's Day. So uh, thank you, you green, for the Mother's Day gift. And uh, this one I'll use, it's a USB-C version of that. It's just a cable. Oh look, we even get word papers with our cables now. That's nice. Well, uh, what should we do with this stuff? I guess we should probably plug them in and uh, see what they look like when, uh, when they're charging things. Oh, let's do this, let's plug in the power, the power cube, and then we can plug all these into there, and I could show you the ball right here. All right, we are plugged in. Oh, there's a little, uh, little pale light there. That's, uh, that's nice. Let's you know it's plugged in. So, uh, here we are, and I suppose I should plug in one of these guys. Which one should we do first? Let's do the daddy, the big daddy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> little face on there. It's not very bright. It's pretty dim. That's okay. All right, we got a few things here. I got a Pimax portal and uh, my Shargeek uh, battery bank. And we have my Pow Kitty V90. Let's start with this. There we go. Yeah, there, look at that, the face changed. All right, let's do the Pimax portal. It appears to be charging. The, the lights are odd, so that's, uh, that's good. It works. Uh, next up, we have the Pow Kitty V90. All right, so that is not charging, and I wanted to show you this. This Pow Kitty, it doesn't support fast charging at all. It's probably like a five watt charger that it needs. So if you want to charge this, you're going to have to use a USB-A to USB-C cord, probably. Uh, let's go, let's try that now, actually. And boom, see that red light? That means we're charging now. 
older devices that just use five watts, they're not even gonna work with that charging cable. So what I wanna see now, whoa, the face stays on. There it goes, it's going away. That was uh, kind of spooky. All right, so I want to see what this uh, this one does because I'm curious what the face looks like on this one. Little face on the robot and it's charging. All right, so I'm going to do my phone here because this shows me if it's doing fast charging. There you go, fast charging. There we go, fast charging. And there's our little face. Yeah, the, the face is subtle. Like, I think uh, they could have probably had that a little bit brighter, I guess. Probably be uh, more ideal like this in a low light scenario because it would be very, very dim. We got to do this thing now. All right, well, here we are. We're ready to rock with the Steam Deck. So let's plug in some stuff. Uh, what should we plug in? I got a mouse, a wireless mouse right over here. And in theory, yeah, there you go. So you plug in a ton of uh, USB things in here and uh, you can do your video out. But the one thing I really want to see is if it does the, the pass-through charging. It should. Has a little charging icon on there. So yes, we are charging right now. Yeah, these things are uh, super convenient. Yeah, getting a good one with all these ports and stuff and uh, the card reader and the, the uh, ethernet, uh, just one little device that you can shove in your, uh, in your bag with your, with your other devices. And real quick, I, wa I need to show you this because it's kind of important. The RG65 watt charger does indeed charge three devices at the same time. So here we are charging up the Steam Deck, my phone, and the Pow Kitty V90 all, all at once. And Ugreen says with the 65 watt fast charging, you'll be able to charge up an iPhone to 60% in about 30 minutes. And even a laptop like the latest MacBook Air, you'll get up to 70% charge within an hour. Okay, well, uh, the moment of truth has arrived. We're gonna plug them all in at the same time. This was my big idea for the video right at the start. Plug all these things in all at the same time. You know Voltron, a bunch of robots, and they all combine together to make a super robot? That's kind of what you got here. So uh, I don't think that uh, Ugreen intended it to be used for uh, combining together into a super robot. But I mean, you know, why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you if you had all this stuff? I know I'm certainly going to do th this uh, probably every single day for, for the rest of my life now that I have it. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching this video uh, sponsored by Ugreen. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have anything uh, to tell me about your life, any fun things you've been doing or things you're looking forward to in the near future. I'd, li I'd like to hear that today, I think, after this video. Uh, click the thumbs up button if you like the video or don't if you didn't. <laughs> That's it from me. I'm Tech Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.